what's up guys refer nyc back with another video and today we are going to do something a little bit different uh we're going to head to my local fish store which is manhattan aquariums uh hopefully to pick up some livestock some coral some fish maybe um just to fill in some of the gaps that i have in here maybe on the sand bed or on the rocks but yeah we're gonna head to manhattan aquariums check out what they got maybe talk to the staff uh, and see what's going on over there stay tuned all righty Finally made it to Man Aquariums. You know you've made it when you see the vessel down there. And then Man Aquariums is right here. So yeah, let's go in, check it out. See what goods they have in there. All right, we just got into the store. We got some customers in here. Uh, let's see what they got. We got some people working here. We're gonna have Greg. Greg was right here. He's gonna show us around the store. Definitely. I guess let's get started. Actually, this one caught my eye. What yeah. is this going? What's going on this here? This Icelandic uh, lava rock that we've done a driftwood and like moss floating plants display. Any uh, fish in running, there? Yeah, yeah, we have a beta and I believe three stirby quarries. Nice. Um, it's got the UNS atomizer in it, UNS tank. Uh, we've just kind of turned the UNS <laughs> surface right. skim uh, the skimmer sideways to act as a power head for the uh, stagnant spots in the tank uh, cool. you know just tuck some nice yeah, actually Anubias yeah nana petites in there i love the, like the waterfall kind of thing yeah too. the water feature is really nice and you know draws draws some attention gives you movement in the rocks it's a nice nice, nice. all right let's skip fresh water we're nice. here for salt water we're here for the reef <laughs> let's start with these tanks over here we're gonna have greg show us off the store make sure if you come to manic rims ask for greg he's the man but let's start off with this tank. What do we have? So this is mostly uh, LPS and softies and stuff like that. Uh, it did have a full garden of euphelia here. It all went out to clients over the last couple weeks. Um, it's just our, our LPS love this tank. It runs a little warm. It's got the radion, so it's putting out like with the diffusers. So it's putting out nice soft car throughout the entire tank, real even. Uh, you know, it's, uh, we keep it a little or like a, a little on the dirty side because the, the LPS like to feed off of all that. They do quite well in it. Are these the, the G5s? Uh, I or believe they're G5. G5. Um, no, is it G5 or G4 up here? These are G5s. G5s. Are you going to switch to the G6? <laughs> I mean, let's see what the boss man says. Yeah. I'm always looking to open new toys if I'm allowed, so. But, G5s know, are fine. Yeah, the G5, listen, they all they all work. Yeah. The Radions work incredibly well. Um, you know, they can, they're can they pretty much the most versatile lights, yeah. in my opinion. Uh, so we got my one thing more. is I do go AI on a heavily mixed reef, so I really get the par cascading down the rock because those focused beams kind of give you a little more. What kind of par do you like running these tanks? On this one, I believe um, she's hitting around two and change up top. And then it just comes way down to the 100s, 100s. at the bottom. Cool. So we got some Ghanis. Look at the LPS. Those are like showstoppers right oh, there. The, those, those are those massive. Are the, they're just massive. Yeah. Um, and they, they just, during feedings, they're like shapeshifters. I mean, tentacles come out, colors change, their mouths open. Very nice. Very cool. All right, let's jump to this next tank that gets everybody into the yeah, yeah, gets the everybody red, into the hobby. Yeah, the Red Sea here is one of our This is the 250. Sure. Yeah, it's a reefer 250. Uh, mixed reef, mostly uh, LPS, you know, and softies with some 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 Montes and stuff mixed in. Very nice. Love the Euphilia Garden. Yeah, the Euphilia Garden that creeps up that left side is a fan, a fan favorite. See the sure. GSP taking over, but that's fine. It and actually it, works with this tank, compliments it. Really it does, nice. it does. I really love that. I mean, for me, the, the jack o' lantern is great, the lepto yeah. over there. I have one of those like, as well. I'm a big sucker for leptos. And you're running the Illa Magic Illa lights. Magics with the Vita Mini strips, two of those. Very nice. Uh, we love Illa Magic. I think that it just gives you a really, really versatile spread of lighting. The spread uh, is really nice. I have them on my tanks too. Yeah. And the Vita Minis are just unbelievable. Right. And you're running Triton on these? Yeah, we run full Triton on this tank. Um, nothing gets sold out of here. Right. So parameter swings are... are, are not an issue for us. Our nutrients need to stay the same all the time. Uh, what are your parameters usually? Uh, we keep the same parameters as you see. So it's 1.026 on salt and, you know, your basic 9.5 right. uh, alk. 9.5 alk? No, no, 9. Um, what? <laughs> I was about to say, that's kind of high. I got to pull up UC's parameters to remember UC, all the Is that online? UC yeah, parameters? yeah, we keep... Um, 
I keep uh, go through everything and run it. It's like 160. Oh, whatever the parameters are, it's working on this tank. Yeah, it's really working. What's your like maintenance on this tank? Uh, maintenance is pretty low on it, honestly. Everything eats up everything. We do uh, weekly water change. I'm um, working on getting the Triton method nailed down so that I can stop doing water changes altogether. Yeah. Uh, that's my, my, my goal for this tank, is no more water changes. <laughs> but uh, she gets, uh, sometimes she gets a little hair algae. So, you know, standard, get a toothbrush in there, pull yeah. out the hair algae. No uh, tangs? But no yeah, tanks in the, there. The, uh, it's got a big, big damsel in there who's a bit of a bully. Oh. So we're kind of limited, unfortunately. I can't fish him out from in the, his his dwelling, but he's a, he's a big boy. He what are these there. mushrooms? These are crazy. Those are the tequila sunrise. Wow. I think that they are some of the, you know, they're, they're huge. You know, they're, they're massive. They grow really fast. Uh, they, they duplicate all the time. And I think that. We buy a lot of really nice stuff and we have a hard time getting it to duplicate. So once in a yeah. while, scoring a coral that gives you no fuss yeah, yeah. Is, a, is a win. Yeah, I might have to get some of those <laughs> from my tank. Yeah, I actually have some right now. All right. Uh, then we have this tank over here. Yes, this yes. is a massive display. How big is this? This is the uh, 200, this is the uh, Waterbox 200 Peninsula. 200 peninsula? Yeah. Wow, looks huge. I think it's 200, I think it's 220 in total with the sun, or 190 on display. I have to look up the specs. I'm gonna running Dilla Magic again. We got Triton. And we got the cat here. Who's this cat? This is Kitty. Also, her name's Priscilla, but everyone just calls her Kitty. <laughs> nice. 240 with some. 240 with some. Yes. We got everything in manage. I actually love like the open concept. Yeah, see everything. yeah, the open front. I mean, it also one it's easier to do yeah. maintenance on, but it also gives us the opportunity to show people uh, like how to do things. Right, you know? right. Yeah, it looks super clean. I mean, that's what I try to do for my tanks: keep all the wires clean, treat your sump as if it's your display as well. And of course, display some sort of thing. Don't yeah, put the macros in everything. Should be dirty. <laughs> all right, we'll see you later, Kitty. We'll jump into the store itself. So this store is, well, we actually have this massive tank here. Let's start with this one, actually. So this tank has gone through many phases. Everybody in here. Just uh, a size size comparison. Yeah, Huge. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a big one. Huge tank. So this tank's gone through many phases. Right now it's the, uh, the African cichlid tank. Uh, lots of convicts and peacocks and yada yada. They, uh, you know, it's a great display tank. They're, they're super friendly fish. They want to interact with people. They always think they're about to get fed. So it's good when kids it's are It's acrylic, here. right? Yeah, it's a big, big. big acrylic tank. It's my thumb. That's like yeah. ridiculous. Yeah, she's... This she's was custom made, I'm assuming. What was that? Custom made. Yes, this is a custom made tank for the space. Right, Filtration nice. is uh, in here. Big sump that runs the length of this. Wow. So... Cool. So we got the UNS products here. We got fresh water, fresh water on the walls. So yeah, we can get started with the store itself. This this store has been here for a while. I remember when when I was first started reefing, but like ten years ago. Yeah, we opened it in 2015. 2015. Really? That that soon? 2005. 2005. <laughs> I was about to say I've been here before a, 2015. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can reshoot that. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's okay. We, we, keep like it years, we keep this running. We keep this Fifteen years. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, so usually they have their tanks packed. Uh, it's a holiday. They have a holiday sale going yeah, on. Yeah, we have a holiday sale. We recently did a deep clean on our reef tables. We feel like it's beneficial once a year to kind of really get in there, get any pockets of detritus that have been hiding. Maybe our racks are hollow. How often okay. do you clean them? We clean the tanks weekly, but like we get to. If we can like clear space, move everything to one table, remove the racks, yeah. really flush everything out once to twice a year is nice. Nice. Um, but largely they get, you know, 100 gallon water changes once a week. Um, it's a big job. <laughs> and we're running Illumagics, Illumagics, Illumagics on these yep, as well. Illumagics. Do you have a custom preset on these? Yeah, so we have them running so that these ones are a little more catered to uh, like SPSs. These ones are a little better for softies and mushrooms. Uh, more Montes and encrusting corals on this 
deeper blue and, and yeah, pushing so a little nice. more power down at the table. Very nice. Super this stuck. This is usually the Euphelia area. Yeah, but this is usually my favorite section. It has yeah, yeah, yeah. all of the cameras and torches. So yeah, we should get you guys a, uh, a new shipment. Trade shows and cleaning. We're a little low right now. <laughs> Were you at the Repalooza? Uh, no, but Joe, our, our owner. Yeah, yeah, nice. Yeah, these corals look awesome. We're using the orange lens so you can see them better. But uh, overall, the tank is looking good. We're carrying Marco rocks here. Yeah, we got Marco. We got fishes. I guess this is your uh, packaging station right here. Yeah. yeah this is uh, where, the, where the work happens. Where all the work happens. Yeah. <laughs> we got more display tanks, alleys and everything. Got the fish. When do you guys usually get in your uh, like new stock of like so we livestock? We try to get us a, a light filler shipment in weekly, um, and usually try to get our bigger, more rare, so exotic fish in once a month. Get them medicated and then get them out. Right. Nice. I usually when I come here, I see like a lot of hospitals and like hotels. They buy up like all the fish. Yeah, our service clients take a ton of our our livestock. Um, you know, it's, uh, we also guarantee livestock when we do the acclimation, which makes a lot of customers more inclined to having us do the, the introduction. Right. Cool. Looks good. We've got some, you know, some fun stuff right here. We've got these. What do we got? Oh, some new anglers and stuff. Nice. Frogfish are always fun. There's a little one in here somewhere. You just got those in? Yeah, we just got those in about five years ago. Very nice. Yeah, they're eating. Uh, obviously not pellets, but <laughs> yeah. Cool. No, I love the your your lighting system. Like all the mounts. Is that yeah. the extruded uh, aluminum? What it is? What was that? The extruded aluminum. Is that what it's called? Yes. It just makes life so much easier. Yeah, it looks super click clean. Together stuff. I mean, from from tank shelving to stands to you name it, we can build it. Yeah. You know, relatively quickly using that. Cool. That's good. And it's are, strong. Yeah, and you're using it on these as well. Mm-hmm. And each one of these tanks is like 50 gallons or so? 40, 50 so gallons? Yeah, offhand, I don't remember. I remember, so this system, from this tank, that sump, and these, that's 800. Okay. Do some math, it's around 40, 50. <laughs> and they're all running off of one sump. They're all running off, well, this, I like to say that this is the sump. Oh, really? Yes. So it's so, all So it runs through, there. that's the mechanical filtration. This is the biological filtration. Okay. So this is a big refugium. Yeah, basically, <laughs> essentially. Now this is the display refugium that people yeah, want. Yeah, it's also where I'll pull big colonies for clients from. Uh, you know, I'll throw callies or zoas in there, right. let them in co cover an entire, you know, 10 pound rock, and then move that into a, you know, 500, 600 gallon aquarium to really fill some space. Cool, all right, let me run to the back, see else we got. See all their corals, prices are pretty, Pretty standard. Big hippo tang right there. All right, thanks so much. All right. Do you have any fish in here that you would never sell? Oh yeah. I mean, they're all up front. Um, oh, what are these? These are super small. Oh, our baby clowns. Yes, one of our Holy customers cow. bred clownfish, and we told them, you know, we'd find them home. Straight. These are the smallest clowns I've ever seen in my life. The babies. Life. Like crazy small. Wow. Cool. Let's see uh, their prized possessions. Yeah, so this guy, he's like our dog. <laughs> he doesn't care about anything. Um, this is Joe's fish right here. The big black tag. Very nice. And I mean, he's, I'm a big guy. He's a. I was in Hawaii and those tangs are crazy big. Yeah. Like. Like fat tags. Oh, they get thick, oh yeah. He, all he does all day is eat, eat, eat. Very nice. Yeah, I love this tank. It has a, a mix of everything. I think everyone's trying to achieve the yeah, mixed reef. Yes. Very nice. That clam is really nice, too. I was trying to figure out. I always forget what that one's called. We wrote it down. Crocia? It's a Bali Lunette. Anthias. Oh, the Anthias. I was yeah. talking about the, the clam over there. Oh, no. That's a, that's a cross, crocia, right? Crocia oh, clam? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, everything looks super healthy in here. Except for this piece. Don't, yeah. Don't record him. Yeah, except for that piece. <laughs> happens in a hobby, but, you know. Listen, what your can tank can be, I tell people all the time, your tank can be absolutely that's, that's flawless. That's what happens to mine. Like, I have a, 
I have two pieces of the same species. One of them RTN, the other piece is fine. Yeah. Same tank. You can have perfect Makes water no sense. parameters. It could be the transit that causes yeah. the bleaching. And you know, once you get RTN or STN, yeah. and it starts like this, I was, this piece was worrying me right here. And um, you know, I spoke to yeah. Joe, who's got many more years than <laughs> I do in the, in the trade. And he was just like, you know, that's the Bali uh, millies. He's like, sometimes. So a, bran a branch just goes even, on Yeah, there. even the bird's nest, that'll yeah. happen too. Mm -hmm. but yeah. I always say that the bottom of my bird's nest is bleached, but the top looks yeah. perfect. <laughs> All right, so we got the UNS, we've got the freshwaters. What else can we say? Yeah, I think that's about it. The reef shallows. I love the shallows. Usually you have like, you're, you're full of like feather dusters in here. Yeah, yeah, and the they're, scooter they're in there. They're all mixed in. Lots of nice gobies, the hell freaks. We've got some yashas right over here. A pair of yashas. Yashas are always nice. Yeah, there they are. The yasha gobies. Yeah, yashas are some of my favorite accent fish. I think they add just like a huge pop to the tank, lots of flair. Nice. So you also guys have a, a store out on Long Island, right? Yep. The aquarium shop. The aquarium Brand new. Shop. Brand new. Is that open already? Uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's open to the public. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, yeah, so we might have to stop. Nice, we might have to stop over over there yeah, definitely. one of these days. Um, but they're all provided by Unique Corals, right? Yeah, UC provides it at both locations with all of their corals. Uh, you know, sometimes we do acquire stuff from uh, breaking down tanks. People are moving right. in and out of New York. And Long Island's just... a good spot for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you find really good deals from tank breakdowns. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Awesome. Thanks. I appreciate it. Of course. Guys, this is Greg. We're at Manhattan Aquariums. Go check them out. Um, it's next to the vessel. I'll put that all information in the bio. And but otherwise, the sunrise. yeah, we're gonna need that. Yeah, you can take that one. <laughs> we're gonna yeah, need I'll put that one. Your corals over here. Yeah, so we're gonna pick out some corals, get some stuff from my tank. We'll probably end this video with the corals in my tank, the acclimation and everything like that. But otherwise, thanks guys for watching. I appreciate it. That's Greg. Ask for him. He'll hook you up. Um, yeah. But otherwise, thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys on in the next one. Peace. Alright guys, it's a wrap from Manhattan Aquariums. Like I said, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Who's trippy toads? <laughs>